Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about some hot fixes that just came out. I am actually very surprised by some of these hot fixes. So you know what, let's get straight into it. Before we get into it, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more future Borderlands content. Anyways guys, they, I don't know what to say dude, they actually buffed the lob <laughs> and the wood blocker. This is actually hilarious to me. Honestly, I'm glad it happened. It's been a long time coming. Um, first, let's talk about some other things that are in these hotfixes that aren't as exciting, but it was a really long time fix. The main thing I see in here is they included a stopgap fix to prevent a reported blocker due to enemies sometimes becoming stuck in unreachable locations in the Cistern of Slaughter. That is one super annoying fix. Hopefully the Cistern of Slaughter is completely fixed now. And, um, yeah. But anyways, guys, that is the main thing in here. They fixed a couple other story blockers. Let's talk about some of these weapon buffs. Guys, in this game, in Mayhem 4, there are... I mean, honestly, there's a decent amount of weapons that are usable, but there are so many bad ones. Let's just talk about the lob first. So they actually buffed the lob. Let's see how good this lob is now. Um, you guys can kind of hear me almost laughing because this is hilarious. But they went ahead and increased the magazine size from 4 to 12. They greatly increased the damage per tick. And now it fires a burst shot of three magical orbs instead of one. <sighs> Guys, it's about time the lob meta is here for Borderlands 3. I'm just kidding. We're going to go in the game uh, later to see how good this actually is. But this is actually some good news. They're actually buffing weapons that like people aren't using. Um, they also buffed the Wood Blocker and the Malik Spain and the Ruby's Wrath. Um, we're going to talk about the last set of weapons they buffed last, which I'm actually excited for. But first, the Wood Blocker. They increased critical hit damage by 100%. That is actually kind of nutty. Um, the Wood Blocker, to be honest, wasn't a good gun. I think the main downside about it is how much sniper ammo it uses, but 100% critical hit damage is nothing to laugh at. Um... That, that's pretty insane. Well, I mean, we'll have to see how well it does. They also buffed the Malik's Bane. Um, greatly increased damage. They didn't say how much, but... I guess we're going to have to find out. They also reduced the shotgun ammo cost from 4 to 2. So, another weapon. I've never used the Malik's Bane, but um, I'm going to try it out. And then finally, same with the Ruby's Wrath. The Ruby's Wrath is actually a pretty cool RPG, but... um. Yeah, so they greatly increase the damage, and then they reduce the cooldown of the Singularity Grenade. I believe that's the alternate fl um, the alternate mode to the Ruby's Wrath, um, because I believe this is a Atlas RPG. I haven't used the Ruby's Wrath too much either, but the couple times I did, it's a really fun RPG. It was just a bit underwhelming. And um, yeah, so the final set of weapons they buffed, which I'm actually kind of excited about, were Doll weapons. Doll are just very, like... They're kind of like Call of Duty weapons. They're just, there's not many gimmicks about them. They're just good weapons. And they increase the damage of all Doll Assault Rifles by 35%. So that is a big deal. Um, there were, a, like, especially the Star Helix now is gonna shred. Like, the Star Helix was already pretty good before, but it's now buffed by 35%. And same with all the other Doll Assault Rifles. We're definitely gonna have to do a lob weapon review for you guys soon. But you guys are going to see me using Doll Assault Rifles um, coming up here soon, too, because I actually really like how Doll weapons, uh, like how you use them and how they feel. Um, I'm kind of a fan, but they were just kind of underwhelming. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this hotfix. Kind of insane, the buff to these underperforming weapons, but they were well needed. Like, how many times did you pass over a lob and you're like, oh, what is this thing? But um, yeah... So that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Tell me what you think about the lob buff. Are we all going to run around spamming lobs now? Is the lob meta here? Probably not, but it's kind of funny to think about. So yeah, take it easy guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.